Planned Parenthood conducts over 300,000 abortions a year. They are. They are the nation's largest abortion provider. Now, their focus is no longer family planning or women's health. It's abortion. And what we have found out is through this sector of their business that is focused on abortion, they have now moved even further away, and they are into selling body parts. All right, folks, as promised, Congress, uh, Congressman Marsha Blackburn herself is here, Vice Chair of the House Energy Committee. And uh, Congressman, always great to speak to you. Um, the, ha the Senate, ha Mike Lee uh, uh, told me yesterday, the Senate will vote on defunding Planned Parenthood within a week or so. Where is the House on this at this point? The House will take this issue up when we come back. We're approaching it from a couple of different angles. One is going to be the hearings that we in Energy and Commerce will conduct. This is going to, uh, to begin as soon as we come back in September. Uh, we will look at a couple of different provisions. Uh, commerce, what they have done in the line of commerce, what they're doing in interstate commerce when it comes to the transactional side of selling these body parts. The Judiciary Committee is going to take it from where they have run afoul of the law, where they are allowing late-term abortions, things of that nature. So this is going to be the way we'll approach it. Uh, we will be diligent in our uh, work. We are doing our due diligence right now for our hearings and for the oversight that we will conduct. Do you find a, 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 almost a sick irony? I mean, the, uh, you're familiar with this lion in Zimbabwe, uh, Cecil or Cecil, that was killed. And, and don't get me wrong, it was, it was a horrible thing for, for it to happen to that lion. It was in a habitat, and, and a dentist from, uh, from uh, America paid money to go there and, get, and lure the lion out and, and shot it and cut the head off, the whole thing. But Jimmy Kimmel yesterday, for crying out loud, on his show, was near tears literally he got choked up talking about the lion all the media is talking about is the lion but the killing of babies in the womb and the, the this latest Planned Parenthood story doesn't seem to move people like Jimmy Kimmel and people on the left anybody who has taken the time to watch these videos that have been released this is so inhumane and it is so beyond what people think could ever happen in this country. They can't even imagine it. And, you know, quite frankly, I know people that I've talked to or had emails from that did not even realize that Planned Parenthood in and of itself was an abortion provider. They thought Planned Parenthood did family planning and women's health services. And they see these videos and they're just saying, oh my heavens, how could this be possible? How could this be taking place in our country? All right, let me move on to, um, to uh, what uh, Congressman Mark Meadows uh, did yesterday. Uh, he made a motion to, uh, to vacate the chair. Basically, uh, he's looking to oust John Boehner as the, uh, the Speaker of the House. Um, what's your reaction to what he did? I, I think that Mark, uh, no one knew that he was going to do it, and I think that it took a lot of people by surprise, took a lot of Mark's friends by surprise. No one was aware of it. Today is the last day of votes before we leave for the August recess, and everyone's attention is focused on trying to get enough votes to override a presidential veto on this horrible, terrible Iran deal. It is focused on dealing with the sanctuary city issues and the issues and the threat that we see from domestic terrorism. And that is where everyone's focus has been in getting home, working with our local law enforcement, making certain that um, we are doing everything we possibly can to fight these domestic terrorists, making certain that we build support through uh, with our Democrat colleagues to take down, uh, be sure we override this veto 
so I, I don't think anyone saw or knew that Mark was going to do this. It really came as a surprise. All right. Uh, there's been a lot of dissatisfaction, a lot of complaints that Boehner has punished those who have bucked him or are too conservative. We see no action in the Senate from McConnell on several key bills that when they ran for real, when he ran for re-election, they said, give me the job that Reid has and I'll pass bill after bill. But let's focus on the House. Is this going to go anywhere? Is John Boehner going to lose his speakership? I don't know if this is going to go anywhere. I think, as I said, people's attention right now is on other other components. They are very worried about Iran and the national security issues. I understand, they, but with all due respect, no, I mean, would you support this uh, measure to, to replace him no, as speaker? No, I think right now, I, I think right now, even though many of us are dissatisfied with things that the House and the Senate leadership have or have not done, and are very frustrated. I think right now our focus needs to be on what we are going to do with this Iran deal and to rein in this. Okay, and once that's okay, over, once we that's over? Be, we, well, the proper way to do this, Steve, is when we get ready to do our elections for a conservative to put themselves in the queue to run for Speaker of the House. And that is the way to go about okay. addressing this. And that's the proper time to go about addressing it. Gotcha. Right now, we have got to make certain that we pull the votes together and that we're united in overriding a veto. Absolutely. I couldn't agree more, especially since Kerry admitted today he hasn't seen those side deals between the IAEA. I them. Can you even <laughs> believe they're asking us to support something and they do not know? It, this is so typical. They don't read the bill. They don't read the deal. They got it from and Nancy Pelosi. You got to pass it, it to yes, know what's in it. Exactly. Congressman, and it, great. it is unbelievable. It is. Great to talk to you. Look forward to the next Always. time. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Congressman Marshall Blackburn, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, up next, Noah Rothman and Stephen Moore will join us together. Don't miss it.